guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a hand to use on any generation guys and you want to know what are the symptoms of thermostat being stuck closed stay with us we'll cover that today now uh, there is one mistake people make when replacing thermostat make sure to stay until the end we'll explain what it is that can actually cost you a brand new engine or the old engine rebuild so we're going to talk about that as we go so that actually guys may work on multiple generation and they use on even if you have a different engine it may still work we'll be demonstrating on a 2.4 gdi engine but many of the things will actually apply to multiple engines and multiple years and they use on before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get at the garage we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now uh, if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so this specifically guys it's a 2.4 gdi engine that we'll be demonstrating on but even if you have different engine gasoline diesel it will apply to multiple engines so this is guys our thermostat okay right here that's a thermostat that's what it looks like uh, now uh, that thermostat is usually located somewhere by the cylinder head so if you look at it guys okay that's the thermostat housing where ours is usually located now uh, before we talk about the symptoms of thermostat stuck close let me just share quick information that many of you request in the comment section below you ask me what the computer we recommend for diagnostic this is our favorite one guys uh, it works on almost any car you can think of it's an all system scanner works on hyundai and it can pay itself off in one time use check out guys the link i'll put it in the description of the video below so you can guys actually uh, see more about the current price and features as well so thermostat what it does where it's located and what are the symptoms of being stuck close the thermostat usually located on the cylinder head okay and you have the uh, lower radiator hose very often connected to the thermostat the thermostat guys if you look on each thermostat it's hard for me to focus but this one says 82 degrees celsius guys it's rated at 82 degrees celsius it means that at 82 degrees it needs to open so cold coolant can come to the engine and uh, then it will close so it's going to keep the uh, uh, engine temperature at around 82 degrees the coolant temperature why because at that a certain temperature uh, your uh, engine will be the most efficient and it will not pollute as well so that's a win-win situation guys but when that thermostat is stuck uh, close okay that can actually affect your engine quite a bit okay and we'll explain how it can be stuck close in two different ways partially or fully completely inactive guys if it's partial it's a little bit harder to diagnose if it's stuck close all the way you will notice it really quick why because your car will overheat almost immediately if it doesn't open all the way if it's partially okay stuck close what will happen guys it will just not open all the way some cold coolant will flow but under certain conditions like driving in city cycles uh, climbing accelerating you may notice that your car starts getting hot it could be due to the thermostat not working correctly the number one thing that you will notice okay thermostat stuck close is your heater guys uh, your engine will overheat easily and uh, number two you may actually guys even uh, start leaking coolant if it overheats really and you can even have uh, really high pressure in the cooling system because the engine can get uh, really really hot guys so uh, it's very important once you notice the car is overheating stop at a safe place and uh, inspect what causes that now we have a complete video that explains guys okay how to actually replace the thermostat on hand day two zone and one thing that you need to do every time you replace it you need to drain the coolant most people uh, when they replace the thermostat they will just add coolant and they'll start driving that's a big mistake you need to actually bleed the cooling system and make sure you don't have air in the cooling system otherwise guys you can severely overheat the engine again even though you put new thermostat hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time